Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks, part two of this. I should have really done this the first way, the first time. And if we, if you didn't watch the first one, you might be a little bit confused. There is a line there that I'm going to get rid of first. This particular project, if you did not watch the first one, has a lot of double lines. So when he was deleting lines, he was having trouble. So what we're going to do, I've set my nudge factor a little bit bigger than this, what this item is. I'm going to go ahead and control G to group this together. I'm going to do just like I did in the first video with the smart fill tool. Specify, I don't want any outline. And I want my fill to be black. And I'm going to fill all in the, and you can't just take and uh, use the object and make everything black because it won't help you. So we're going to do just like, I'm just going to fill in all the black spots. What the smart fill tool does is makes a new item. So now we can nudge away one of these items and we can click on that and get rid of the line and then move this back. And then if we left click, I'm going to go ahead and right click in red. And now there will be no double lines because he evidently draws in half point. I don't, I draw in everything in hairline. So I'm going to make this a hairline. It's a lot to me. It's a lot easier to move around. But if you'll look now, there is not a double line because the smart fill tool made a new line or made a new object. And then we made it a line. Anyway. I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching. And then you can just, if you select everything, if you select everything, you can fill it in with black now and take away. So I'll, I'll left click, right click, and you that's ready to engrave, except for that we have not fixed what we did in the very first video. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.